Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a review for my Gucci Jackie 1961 in the small size. We are joined by a special guest. I have Sherpa here. She's hanging out. Hopefully she stays while I film. But I have the canvas version of this bag. I have tried on the mini size and I've played with the different leather options. I was actually able to try on the ostrich version when I was in DC most recently. I've seen the crocodile and all that one, or I guess maybe they do alligator. I saw that when I was in New York City did not have the courage to ask to touch it because I was definitely not going to be buying it. That might actually be behind glass, but it's beautiful. Really, really shiny. I have played with the different leather options. They have a natural grain, which is the most expensive version of the Jackie bag. And then they have a smooth leather version. That is very, very smooth. It's a noticeable difference. Like the moment you see it, touch it, it's so different. The canvas, I went with this for reasons that I'll get into later, but they are different. Um, and I think this actually has an edge over some of those bags, despite it being the cheapest option. So I'm gonna talk about what fits. I put questions out on Instagram in case there's anything anyone wants to know, I'll address those. Just any key features I've noticed when using this bag, any cons that I've run into. Yes, yeah, so let's jump into it. I'm gonna address the questions I got on Instagram first. They were all basically around how secure is this bag, how easy it is to get in and out, and multiple people wanted to know, like, is everything gonna go flying out of this bag? Let's say you're driving and you come to a hard stop, like, is everything just gonna go flying out of your bag? And I, I thought it was really funny, so like, I'm like testing, you know, <laughs> will everything fall out? And as you can see, it is pretty secure, because this is packed full with anything I would usually bring. Um, so I will go over what fits in a moment, but I'm very happy with how secure this is and how easy it is to go in and out because it's a really narrow shape. So it holds things in nicely, but at the same time, like I can easily just put my hand in. This piston closure is very cute. Before I tried it on, I was wondering if it was fussy at all and it's not fussy. I can open it when I'm in the grocery store if I quickly need to get in and out. It's very easy to do, but I won't even necessarily need to do that just to reach in, grab my phone, grab my wallet, my keys, whatever that is. So I think you're good. <laughs> I think you're totally secure in using this bag if it's in the crook of your arm or when you have it cross body, um, you can easily wear it on your hip. And I don't think you have to worry about anyone putting their hand in, things flying out of it, anything like that. So to show you what I do have in this bag, it's packed quite full now. And I will have rough internal dimensions listed in the description box just to try to give you a good idea, just in case you have different things than me. So I have my bone conducting headphones in there, um, my Louis Vuitton clay, the Rosalie coin purse, and I feel like there's a pretty chunky size wallet. You know, it's not as slim as a lot of card holders, so you'll be able to fit like a bifold, trifold wallet, anything like that. Uh, this is my cell phone. I always have it in there. A lot of my bags that I talk about, you can't fit a phone. This one can, so that's like a nice change, right? I know that's a, an absolute must for a lot of people. Any phone you have will definitely fit in this bag. Like, I'm not a phone person, so I don't know, like the Apple, max plus or whatever it's called like that one will totally fit i promise and then here i also have my pochette if you happen to want to know what i'm keeping in my pochette these days um i have the super goop um glow stick i really love this thing i'm totally obsessed with it i've been taking it out with me since summer really kicked off so i can like reapply to my nose my cheeks i'll even put it on my arms and my hands um so this is in my pochette um some chapstick and like a lip gloss i have some gum in here you know so this is a full pochette and all of that stuff still easily fits i love that it is a light cotton canvas so you can see in very easily it also has a generous zippered um zippered compartment on the back that is where i would normally keep my keys i have my car keys and my house keys separate from one another so i don't like them just rattling around i'll always just put them in that zippered compartment i often won't even zip up the zippered compartment but like just to have them separate and really quick to grab 
in something like my Bottega Jody bag, like that thing is a black pit. So I have the teen size and in the teen size, there's no internal zippered compartment. So with that, like I have to have a pochette in it. I absolutely have to keep my keys, all my little bits and bobs in this pochette. Otherwise, like you're just gonna be grasping around in there forever. And I, I hate taking a long time to search for anything even if you don't have something like a mini pochette, like this is still very organized, still very easy to grab your stuff. If you use a continental wallet, so this is an old Burberry one I have. I don't really use it, but I did use it on my most recent work trip. That fits very easily into this bag. So the continental wallet, the pochette, and my phone, I would say that that's, you know, like typical, typical essentials for a lot of people, it still closes up. Nothing is squashed, it's not stretching it out. I can easily get the things, of course, with the with the wallet spanning the length of the bag. You're gonna have to use the piston closure, but like I said, that's pretty quick to do. I was curious, so I know, I know a lot of people are agenda people, and you have to absolutely have like a book or your calendar, so I brought out a book. This is Good Omens. I'll have the dimensions for it in the description box, but just to be dramatic, I guess, and show you, like, it fits. So if you have to have an agenda with you, you can absolutely put it in there along with your wallet. I'm gonna just grab the big one, you know, because uh, I feel like that covers all our bases. You can have your book in there, a large wallet, and then your keys. That can go into the zippered compartment. Oh, of course, the phone. Can't, can't forget that phone. I feel like those are three pretty big things. So all of your essentials are gonna fit in this bag. To get into why I picked this blue canvas specifically over the leather versions, I am considering getting a natural grain version of this bag. I think it's beautiful. It's really soft, really supple. Um, the smooth leather, it's more structured. The main thing that sets this one apart though keeping in mind that it is the lowest price out of all these, this one comes with an additional strap. The leather versions of this bag do not come with this um, cotton strap. I don't think you'd call it a guitar strap, but it has really great length to it. It attaches on these D-rings right here on the side. It is adjustable. I am 5'5", five five. I'm about like a US size 6. This fits me comfortably. Something that really disappoints me is when luxury bags with their strap options, how they're not so often size inclusive. And that's ridiculous. Like there is no reason why they can't make their straps suitable for a variety of sizes, why they can't add extra holes in the leather straps. So this canvas one is a really good option. You'll see where it falls on me in the mod shots. But I also think it's just really cute, like hanging down. Um, I do have it on the longest setting right now or close to it. So I would typically have it a little bit shorter than this. I like it hanging down. It kind of reminds me of the Dior saddle, but also I like that I can quickly just put it on my shoulder. Um, this, without it, I like it best just in the crook of my arm. So I can quickly pop it on my shoulder. Let's say I'm checking out at, at a store or if my hands are full in some other way. Something that's nice about it also is how it incorporates red. I love pulling different colors into my outfit and like thinking about how things play off one another. So this obviously looks fantastic with jeans, but I like that the red can incorporate a new color into the look or if I have like a red top on, red earrings, like whatever it is. Um, I like how that all ties in together. As I said, the leather options of this bag do not come with that cotton strap. They do have the leather extendable strap. Let me see, it's right here. So all of them come with a leather extendable strap. This bag, if you've ever played with it, it really reminds me of the Saint Laurent uh, shoulder bag, the Saint Laurent bag with like the YSL using on the closure. However, that one is only a shoulder bag. So this definitely has an edge over it where you can extend it and make it a really good crossbody bag. The mini version and the medium size of this, they all come with this leather strap. So of course, just like go with the one that you think is the most aesthetically pleasing, whatever size you think suits your frame best, and they should all come with the leather strap. 
Again, this fits nicely on my hip at the longest version. I think this will suit a variety of sizes, heights, however you are, if you are wearing it over a bulky coat. Um, I think it is really good for that reason. The canvas is hard wearing. I loved the color. Um, I liked this leather. This is a different leather than the natural grain and it's also different than the smooth. Now, I generally try to avoid anything too pessimistic, too negative on my channel, but there is something I wanted to mention just because it really stood out in my experience when I was shopping for this bag. I would ask an essay about the smooth leather version. Um, I asked them if it would change at all, if the leather would become more flexible over time as I used it, would it ever change um, and become softer? And I think essays, if they, don't necessarily know an answer. I think they feel a lot of pressure in that moment to provide one. Um, and then they're also trying to gauge what you wanna hear. I, I'm i very lucky in that I have a variety of boutiques near me so I can access a lot of different stock. I can hear a lot of different people's opinions. I asked essays, different essays at different boutiques this same question and I got a different answer every single time. So with regard to like whether or not it would become more flexible, if it would really soften up, some essays said, oh yeah, yeah, this is gonna become so soft as you use it. The leather is gonna become so much more flexible. It's quite structured right now, but all of that is gonna change over the years as you use it. And then other essays said, no, 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 no. This is going to stay exactly as it is. The smooth leather is treated. It is very structured it's going to hold this exact shape and it's not really gonna change as you use it. So just take that with a grain of salt. Um, keep in mind that essays don't always know the answers uh, to the questions you're asking. And I think that's why YouTube reviews are really helpful. I'm gonna definitely do like a one year, two year review for this. Of course, if you are watching this at some time in the future, I will try to remember to link that down below. Um, but I will do a follow up on, on just like wear and tear. So far for the few months I've had this, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I wanted something really durable with this coated canvas. Back to the smooth leather version and why I would choose this or the natural grain over the smooth one. One common complaint I've heard is that the smooth leather wrinkles a lot. And that makes me think that it doesn't lend itself to like becoming more flexible. Um, when I was trying on in store, I'll insert a picture because I still have it. When I was trying it on in store, I noticed deep wrinkles along the side of the handle on the smooth bag. And it just made me wonder if like thinking maybe this one won't actually wear so well over time. I know that those were definitely gifted to a lot of influencers, but they have a different life than me. I wanted something very carefree. This canvas, I haven't been careful with it. You can knock it about. I'm like rushing through doorways and between people and I've never had a problem with this bag. A couple of things I wanted to mention because it cannot all be sunshine and rainbows. As much as I love this bag and would certainly consider getting another one, some things I wanted to mention, of course you should do this with any luxury purchase, but give it a good look over in boutique or if you order it to your home just before you decide to buy it or keep it, give it a really good look over because I have seen some inconsistent quality in Gucci boutiques, um, sometimes some loose threads, some inconsistent glazing. This one fortunately is in good shape, but something I always watch out for, anytime a bag has a lot of pieces stuck together. You know, it's got things connected here and here and different leather bits connecting the strap to the body of the bag. There's a lot of parts that are connected in this bag. And in my mind, it's like the more parts you have stuck together, the more, I guess, room there is for error, if that makes sense. Something might not be properly glazed or sewn. Something might not be well connected. And you have a lot of pieces up here. I have seen really bad glazing on some Jackie bags connecting like the strap of this bag to the to the body. I'll try to insert some close-up pictures if I can. Just something you wanna look out for. Look at the threads, make sure there's no loose threads. Another thing, this is about the canvas bag specifically. So while it can fit on my shoulder, it's a very structured leather and I have 
reasonably squared off shoulders. They're not too sloped, so I don't usually have an issue with bags falling off. But if I just sit this casually on my shoulder and actually start moving around, because I've tried this, <laughs> I've used it out in the real world, right? When I'm moving around the way I normally would, this does not sit on my shoulder. It immediately wants to slip off. So I typically carry this in the crook of my arm. I mean, you can, like, if you want to hold it, <laughs> hold it like this, you can. It's very cute. But I'm just saying, in my experience, moving around in this world the way I normally would without really thinking about my bag, which I don't want to do, keeping it on my shoulder doesn't really work out. I will use the, um, I'll use the canvas strap if I need it on my shoulder, or like if I just need to chuck it up there for a quick second, it's fine. But I find that I need to do this <laughs> if I actually want to keep it up there for any significant amount of time, which is not comfortable. So I carry this in the crook of my arm. The natural grain leather, because that one is so much more supple, it's softer, that one like sinks into your shoulder more. I'm sure if you've carried a handbag, like, you know what I mean. It's that feeling where this is stiff and so it just wants to like slip off. The natural grain with it being more supple, it forms to your shoulder and just kind of sinks in comfortably. So it actually stays up there. Yeah, this one, uh, like, it just doesn't quite work. It's sitting there now because I'm just sitting on my living room floor and there's nothing in it, I'm not really moving. But yeah, it's a, it's definitely a crook of the arm bag or it's great crossbody. I do think that is something fantastic about this bag because a lot of bags have convertible options, but it's always like some of them don't work out so well. It clearly works better one way over another. This is good on the shoulder with the canvas strap. It's great crossbody when you add the extension and it's cute in the crook of the arm. So yeah, not only is it good casually, but like you can change the strap options. I've dressed this up um, even though it is just canvas, like I've worn it with a nice skirt and heels, the leather ones, those are gonna be really versatile. So there's a lot of good things going for this bag. Um, then maybe just look over quality, do that with any luxury bag you have, and keep in mind the uh, stiffer, the smooth leather version, and this one, it's not gonna sit on your shoulder as nicely. Only one more thing to address, and that is will it grocery store? If you're not familiar with my grocery store rating, I don't have a very interesting life, and so to get the most use out of my bags, I really like to be able to bring them conveniently to the grocery store, so I've made up this rating system. I would say that just in like the crook of your arm or with the canvas strap attached, like quickly thrown on the shoulder, this will definitely grocery store, but it's maybe like a six or a seven. When you add the extended strap and make it cross body, it's totally like an eight to a nine, just depending on your preferences, but it's really easy to get in and out. It's really hard wearing. I can't imagine you running into any issues. I'm always amazed at like how much moving I need to do when I'm in the grocery store. Like I'm always like bending and grabbing things and just moving a lot more than I expect rather than just like casually pushing a cart, you know, but I'm like loading things into my car and I always notice the bags that are like swinging around me or slowing me down that are a pain to get in and out of. So this is a very good one for those super dressed down occasions like running errands all day or going out to a nice dinner. And that's a really great thing anyway. I hope that this was helpful and I will certainly answer any questions below in the comment box. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.